Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney. In today's video, we are going to be getting a good bit of home projects done around the house. I've been wanting to redo our dining table top. I bought some epoxy off of Amazon, so we're going to be epoxying it. I want to sand it down and stain it a darker stain. I had bought the oil-based Jacobian stain, I think that's how you say it, but I found out that you're not supposed to well, with the name brand I got, I can't speak for all epoxies, but for the one that I got, it specifically says in the manual that it's best not to use oil-based stains. So, um, I'm going to run back uptown and grab, I think I'm going to go with the Verithane and the color Kona, the gel stain. And I think it's pretty close to what I was originally going for. I just wanted a darker wood stain to match the cabinets and stuff in the kitchen. So, I'm going to be restaining it before we do the epoxy coat on it. I ordered some gold cabinet pulls to be able to go ahead and replace all of the cabinet pulls on the cabinets in the kitchen. I'm trying to brighten up the kitchen some. I want to do the backsplash here shortly, but I'm still not 100% sold on how I want to do it yet. So, I'm trying to just wait it out see how i feel and just i'm trying not to make an impulsive decision on the backsplash i want whatever we put up there to stay up there for a really long time so but i want to do that soon but we're going to be changing out all the cabinet pulls to the gold pulls taking the nickel colored pulls off and also we are going to be taking off the handles on our black appliances and i'm going to be using rust-oleum metallic gold spray paint to spray paint and clear coat all of the handles on our black appliances just because I feel like that will help brighten up the kitchen some more too and give it a pop of color instead of being so dark and gloomy and depressing looking in there. So that's the color spray paint that I'm gonna be using. If you've been on my channel a while, then you probably remember where we did this already to appliances in our old house, but we had white appliances, but I took the handles off the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the stove, and we spray painted them with the same exact spray paint that we have now and a clear coat and we had done that probably about eight maybe about eight months before we moved out and it still looked just as good as the day that we did it it didn't flake off it didn't chip any not even the handle on the stove so this should all work out the same way but that's what all we're going to be doing in this video today and we're going to be cooking some ribs like a rack of ribs i asked some of y'all's i asked some of y'all for some tips on how you do yours a bunch of y'all left comments on my last video telling me how you do yours and a lot of y'all did yours almost the same exact way so we're going to be doing that too but anyway that's all that i know of that's going to be in this video there may be more i'm not sure but if you are new i really hope that you enjoy this video enough to stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future posts or videos and we're going to go ahead and hop on into what
somebody I don't think he recorded where he clear coated all of these handles, but we used Rust-Oleum clear coat and we got it in gloss. We had did the satin clear coat on the handles in the old place, but it made them look more fogged. So we tried the gloss clear coat this time and they turned out so much better. So if you do end up doing something like this, I recommend getting the gloss clear coat instead of the matte or satin clear coat. to get me help all i'm asking for is just some space and some time then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get up tell me things i can't say myself from you and nobody else everything is out of my sight this is also new to me i can do it all in your way say all the things that you say To breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in, now I see What I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself From you and nobody else
This was the first time that I had ever used water-based stain, and I really love it. It's so thick. It's so much thicker than the oil-based stain. It almost goes on like paint. It's so easy to work with and to smear across, you know, the boards. And I swear, I barely used any of it out of this can. So, out of me doing this whole entire table, you literally couldn't even tell that I used any out of the can. That's how little it took. But I love this color, and I love how where I smeared it in so good and rubbed it around a lot that it still made the boards look distressed instead of it all being one solid brown color. You could see there's still like lighter parts of the wood showing through. It may be because we had different color boards on top of the table. I don't know, but I just love how it still looks distressed. It's not all one color. There's still some light wood peeking through. And then you have some of the boards that are darker than the others. I think it turned out amazing. I really love it. And this stuff right here dries really fast. It was dry to touch within like an hour. And you can go ahead and put your top coat on it. I mean, we let our sit overnight and dry. But if you are pressed for time, you can go ahead and put your top coat on it, whatever you're going to use, like an hour after you put it on. But like I said, we let ours sit overnight because it had done got so late that day anyway. And we did our epoxy on top of it the next day, which will be Sunday.
If you missed it, I got the old English scratch cover for the dark wood. I got it a few weeks ago and I used it on my bathroom cabinets. So I already knew pretty much how it worked and it's amazing. My bathroom cabinets still look just as good as the first day that I put this stuff on there. But I'm not going to lie to you. I think the ones in the kitchen were a lot more thirsty <laughs> than the ones in the bathroom were. So I'll probably mm -hmm. go back over these one more time sometime this week. But I love this stuff, y'all. It really makes the cabinets look new again. The way it revitalizes it just blows my mind. So if you have some wood cabinets that you need to freshen up, definitely try this stuff. They have it for light wood too. But um, I only paid like not even $6 for this bottle. And I've hardly used any of it between all of these cabinets in the kitchen and the bathroom. So it'll last you a really long time. Want the mood to be right, keeping the low in the night, yeah. So long since I get a glimpse of a light, it's blurring out my eyes. Oh, oh, we should open up a window. Oh, oh, I can't see clear. Oh, oh, I know how to window, to window. Cause it's just my habit, and I can't describe it. Till the end Yeah, I know how to play pretend Oh, oh, tell me how do I get inside Oh, oh, open up your mind Oh, oh, in this I know how to win a fight To win a fight Cause it's just my habit I can't describe it
I guess you could call these faux drawers that you see him working on right now under the sink. But as you can see, they do not have any handles because they're not actually functional. And if you're wondering why his mouth is moving 100 miles per hour, it's because I sped this video up and he's over here looking like a goat chewing on his doggone chewing gum. <laughs> he looks so funny. But anyway, back to what I was saying. We decided to put some handles on here just so it could be cohesive with all of the other drawers even though they're not actually functional we just felt like it looked better to just make it look like they were functional just to go along with everything else we're just going to do it for the looks okay <laughs> but i think it looks a lot better with the handles on them too instead of them not having nothing at all Got her. I, well, I ordered it for her. I think her. it's too big. No, don't say that. But this is an extra small one I've got for Walmart. They look the same length. They might be the same length. I thought I got her a little Halloween collar. It's got the little orange flower on it, and then a little pumpkin and an orange beetle. Yeah, that'll work. Come here, Moon Pie. She's probably going to hate it if I had to. She said, don't bring that over here, human. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, ain't you pretty? She said, hold on now. I'm not used to one with a bell on it. What is this? What is this? It's probably going to drive her crazy for a little bit. Oh, you know, oh Moon Pie, you so pretty. Should we take it off while we're going since we're in their mouth? Yeah, bit? we'll put it back on her when we get back. I'll tighten it up. Just so we can watch her with it for a little bit. You on the safe side for now, Moon Pie, until we return. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I don't think so. Uh, I'll let you run <laughs> naked for a little bit. <laughs> cut the bell off the bell jingling she just was not having it and it was even aggravating me so i know it was aggravating her but we took the bell off and she seemed somewhat okay with it but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to keep that flower on there or not i might have to end up taking it off too and just leave the little pumpkin charm on there <laughs> she looks like she hates me right now moon pie you hate me baby <laughs> She said, what do I look like to you, human? A little rag doll? You can just dress however you like. <laughs> oh, 
on a more serious note, Kyle took Suki back uptown. We just left and went uptown first thing this morning because we wanted to go out and eat breakfast together as a family. We haven't done that in forever. So we went to Cracker Barrel and had breakfast this morning. And then we came back and realized we didn't have anything to mix the um, epoxy with. So he took Suki and went back uptown. Sissy stayed here with me. So he could go to Lowe's to find something to mix the epoxy with and find something for us to measure the epoxy out. We're going to get it done sometime today. But it's Sunday now. And we didn't get to cook the ribs last night because it was just... We had too much going on yesterday. We're trying to get the kitchen done. So we're going to do the ribs today. So I'm about to look up a couple more recipes and look through y'all's comments again on how y'all made y'all's ribs and we're going to see how we're going to end up doing these ribs and i hope they turned out good but um i know the first coat of this epoxy is supposed to sit on for like six hours it's currently 11 44 in the morning right now so if he can hurry up and get back and we have this on by like one o'clock, then we could start on the ribs and baby them for the six hours that this is supposed to be curing. And then after six hours, we'll put the final coat, which is considered, I think the flood coat over top of it. And it will like self level itself out and run off the sides and stuff. I also have a drop cloth I got to put down underneath the table whenever Kyle gets back. I can't move this table by myself. It is too doggone heavy with that tabletop. But I love how that dark walnut color came out. And I had never used the water-based stain before. I've always used gel stain or oil-based. But when I read that it didn't recommend me using oil-based, that's when we went back to Lowe's yesterday and I found the dark walnut color in the water-based. And y'all, this almost went on like paint instead of stain. I've never used anything so thin before but it made it so easy to work with and to it says on the container that it gives more color instead of more grain so it says that it's like five times thicker which would explain why it looked like I was pouring paint onto the table instead of stain whenever y'all saw me doing that but I love it I think I'm going to use water-based stain from now on I really recommend that Y'all see, he don't let me do nothing. I'll mix it. <laughs> I don't want her to strain her delicate wrist. Oh my goodness. If y'all are wondering why the camera is shaking, it's because we have two little tornadoes that keep going round and round the table because they want to run on this plastic that we put under the table. If I change the way, 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 change the
Okay, so we done rinsed it off. We set it on top of the foil. He's already got the membrane off of the back of it. So we're gonna use some mustard as our base to help all of the seasoning steep to it. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. And the seasonings we're gonna be using is some Cajun seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and Smokehouse Maple by McCormick.
so this is our second and final coat of the epoxy and we just let it sit overnight so we did this second coat right before we went to bed because we know when we go to bed obviously the kids will be asleep and moon pie will be in the bedroom with us all night so she won't be out to hop on the table or anything so it was just the smartest way for us to do it right before we went to bed but um we let it sit over all night and it's morning time when i'm editing this and y'all it turned out so beautiful like the after shots you see me take of it at the end right before we go to bed is literally the same exact way that it looks right now since it's completely dried it sat up so beautifully i love it i couldn't be happier with it i love it i just love it but um that was the final coat that we did and then after you pour your final coat you wait maybe about five minutes after you um spread it all across whatever you're putting it on tabletop island whatever you're using it on and after about five minutes of you doing that you'll see where a good bit of air bubbles i mean we didn't have a whole lot but you'll see that there are a bunch of bubbles that come to the surface so that's when you take your torch and you just sweep over it don't stay in one spot too long because you don't want to burn the epoxy with the heat but you just sweep it over it just like you see Kyle doing and you'll instantly see all of the little bubbles pop. And so I looked at it this morning with my flashlight and there are absolutely no bubbles left in it at all. It cured beautifully. It is really easy to do this epoxy and it is so worth it because it turns out so beautiful. Now, all of that weathered wood that we had up there is going to be so simple and easy for me to clean whenever the kids eat instead of stuff getting stuck in between the pieces of wood. And we only paid like $35 for this epoxy kit, so it was well worth it. I don't wanna fall in love 